Hi Capricorn, welcome to your February 2017 General Tarot Reading with Island Girl Tarot. I hope everybody had a great January. We're looking forward to February. We do have two eclipses. I would highly suggest you check out your natal birth chart to see how they fall. That will also tell you your rising and your moon sign. Should this reading not resonate with you, by all means check those out. You can join me Saturday mornings, 10.30 Central Standard Time, Island Girl Tarot on Facebook. I do do a live drawing for those in the chat room. You can also reach me at islandgirl2008 at gmail.com if you're interested in a private reading. I'm extraordinarily reasonable. And with that said, Capricorn, let's get to it. Happy Valentine's Day while I'm thinking of it. February 2017 for Capricorns. Well, Capricorn, right off the bat, um, it's definitely a, a big month for you, so hang on. I've got more Major Arcana than I can count. Good Lord. All right, and the bottom of the deck is the Fool, so it's beginnings. We're starting over with something. Something's a new journey. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And then with the bottom six Major Arcana cards. We start off with the Magician. Uh, the magician is all about manifestation. You think it, so it shall be. So above, so below. Meditation, going inside. You think, and it will happen. It looks to me like you have manifested some money and have manifested enough wealth that you now feel like you are completely in charge of your, your domain. You have complete scene control. With the Emperor in the Four of in the Four of Pentacles as well as the Four of Wands, the Fours represent stability. They represent an evenness. Now the Four of Pentacles, as you look at him, you know he's hanging on to those. Uh, he's hanging on pretty tight here to his Pentacles. Uh, it could be that maybe before the Magician in the manifestation. Uh, that period before you were able to manifest this new resource that you were feeling um, deprived and so now you're afraid to you know really spend this money or to let go of it and it really is telling you with the Emperor you you can trust yourself um, you're not going to do anything dumb you've got the uh, Hierophant is in here to speak to um, you know this would be banks and institutions so taking this money you know that the emperor could even be uh, the bank, the banker himself, in putting whatever this money is in. Um, you know because there is going to be something unexpected. I highly suggest if you have come into some money to make sure that you secure it. You know I've got the five of cups and the tower, and so that tells me that's an unexpected event. And again, it's going to be regarding the money. Um, that you, you're you going to need to be prepared for. But notice that you do have the two cups behind. So with whatever happens, you're going to be okay. It may, this is, the tower is sudden, it's random. You know, a lot of times for me when the tower is pulled, it's something that happens to somebody else personally, but the fallout is something, you know, that affects me. Um, this is really a great reading. I think that's just telling you that if something unexpected does happen, don't don't panic. You've got your other two choices because the last card in, uh, in the reading is the lover. So again, that's telling me a duality, a choice, a choice to be made. Uh, the fool being the overall energy, as I said, is is a card of new beginnings and starting over. <clears throat> it could very well be Capricorn uh, that maybe you retired. And you just decided to go follow your, you know, to go follow your heart's desire and to do exactly what you want to do. Um, you know, you you may have the money and and you've gone and you've you've uh, spoken with your financial advisors and now you're you're getting your things together so you can you can move on the path of happiness. I just feel like that there's going to be something unexpected that may just 
feel like you feel like you knock knock your legs out from under you for a second, but don't feel that way because again the answers are going to be right there behind you. You've just got to <clears throat> pick yourself up, turn around, and look at them. Um, if I was doing this as a love reading, for some reason, um, as the lovers do play here, I would I would say that you know this may have been a marriage. Um, that somebody walked away from because somebody was holding on to their feelings too tight. They could have been stingy. Um, they were, you know, had an explosive temper maybe or spent money wildly, spent money unexpectedly and did it without consulting the other partner. That's also, you know, a way in, in that this was a decision where you just walked away and it's made you very sad. Um, but you know, financial unfaithfulness in a marriage is to me is almost just as bad as physical unfaithfulness. So, um, Capricorn, if this is you, just know that you've got choices. There's, like I said, with the lovers and um, the five of cups with the other two cups behind you, you're going to have some other decisions, some choices to be made. Just make sure you make the right choices. Use your intuition. Go within. Again, that's what the magician is going to tell you is to meditate so you can manifest. And, and like I said, you know, it could be that you manifested something and it didn't come out just exactly the way you thought it was going to. And so now you're having to deal with the consequences and it's not just quite like you thought it was going to be. Well, that's where the fool comes in and you're like, well, all right, let me just begin again and we're going to tweak this. And that's when you're going to turn around and you're going to see your two cups standing up right there with the five of cups and you're going to be able to uh, make a stable situation out of it and rectify it here with the four of wands um, is a card of stability and just you know things will smooth out if things tend to be rocky right now Capricorn happy Valentine's Day thank you so much for all your likes shares and subscribes again it's islandgirl2008 at gmail.com and you can join me on Saturdays at 1030 islandgirl tarot thanks Capricorn take care Bye-bye.